son is fine in every sense of the word you're brave you're strong and Cass is just as strong she'll be alright we'll make it through this yeah well I gotta get her to speak to me first oh, well the good news is uh, Dre he's a stand up kind of guy yeah yeah I, I don't know you know they haven't known each other that long Maybe they're moving a little too quickly. <laughs> really? And you eloped when you were how old? Oh, stop it. All right, I deserve that, and, okay? Uh, but I just want what's best for my children. And that is a good thing. Now, tell me, <clears throat> which one? <sighs> the one you're wearing. And as I said to you earlier, you're looking awfully fine today. Well, you know, I do what I do, how I do it. Especially when I have a date with uh, Randy later. Oh. Date? Date? Yeah. Just gonna buy some flowers, too. Nice. You think that's uh, too much flowers? I'm sure you'll have a nice time. Uh-uh. Don't even try it. You use nice twice. That means you hate it. I know no, you would. I, I don't hate it. Look, you, you can date whomever you want. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. I have interfered in your life enough lately. I am done. Finito. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Uh... Jill. Right. <laughs> it's great to see you. Hi, Dr. Hubbard. I, I hope I'm not late. crisis. JR? Ugh, oh, those days are over, I hope. It's actually Colby. Oh, poor kid. How's she doing? Well, one of her friends got arrested, but, uh, she thinks it's her fault. That sucks. Well, at least she's not in jail. It could be worse. So where are we? Better question, where's everybody else? Greenlee's AWOL with Aiden, no word from Kendall or Annie. What is up with that? They just float in here whenever they feel like it, mix it up, and leave. Do you happen to have the charm numbers from the West Coast AE? Oh, uh, they're right here. Higher than expected. Oh, good. And we're left to work like dogs 24-7. I can't even remember the last time I had one whole complete day off and they're sleeping in. Well, I'm going to talk to Kindle. They need to start carrying their in. <laughs> well, they'd have to be here to have that talk, wouldn't they? Oh, um, here, the holiday promo needs someone to sign off on it. They're totally grinding us into the dust, babe. They don't even care. They've had a lot going on. They should live their dramas on their own time. You know, Annie did just get released from the hospital. A big deal. She's totally fine. They're taking advantage. You were kidnapped and almost raped. You still managed to show up to work, didn't you? Isn't there somewhere you should be? The, your television show or something? Thank you very much, Carmen. Mm. Just the way you like it. Almond chai, no cream. Oh. I have right? things to do, ladies. Oh, do you? Judges to bribe, officials to coerce? Come on, Adam. Why don't you focus those many talents of yours on helping Dre Woods? I already have Hubbard breathing down my neck. The last thing in the world I need is for him to bust me for facilitating the wheels of justice. Well, there must be something we can do. Well, I know. Why don't you and Carmen break that kid out, bust him out, it'll go on the lamb, do the Thelma and Louise bit you did the last time. Adam, this is serious. Samuel Wood's son is not a criminal. What happened was an accident. We have to make those charges go away. Well, why? Why should I help him? Or you? Or that punk kid? Because you'd have a clear conscience. Oh, I sleep very well, thank you. You should see the size of his sleeping pill bottle and what he washes it down with. If there's nothing else... Adam... Surely you're aware that if these charges against Dre are dropped, then no crime has been committed. And whatever Colby is facing, that also would go away. No, no, Colby is already in the clear. One never knows. I know. Well, then surely you are aware that it's really terrific that you would be helping the son of our state's next United States senator. Always really advantageous to have a politician in your pocket. I already have a whole pocket full of politicians. Well, then let's begin with you. Destroying evidence is a very serious charge. I got it. 
Why don't you get the exact same car as the one that was stolen, tell the cops you found it, and then they'll drop the charges? That's absurd. It's not nearly as absurd as you having your daughter's car shredded and thinking that no one would even notice. I think it's time for you to go. According to Samuel, that car could have really proved Dre's innocence. And thanks to you, it's gone. So as I see it, you owe Dre. Erica, this is not about what I owe that young man. It's about you trying to score points with that young man's daddy. I don't need to score any points with that young man's daddy. Yeah? Well, then he better score some points of his own, because his poll numbers are plummeting. Well, you are going to need people behind you when you are behind bars. I'm not going to prison. Oh, I'm going to give you tips. Yeah, me too. And I may even visit you, just like you visited me, once, maybe twice. Because, as I see it, I may be the only one who cares. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Come on. It's an hour out of your life. It can't hurt. It could bore me to death. Mm -hmm. Wendy has earned her 90-day chip today. <laughs> Wendy? This means so much to me. Yeah. I've worked so hard to earn this. Every day, hell, every hour. I've only gotten this far through God's grace and the support of this group. Thanks. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks. Would anyone else like to share today? Can we go now? Actually, I would like to share. I'm JR, and I'm an alcoholic. Hello, JR. So, what did you think I would do if you told me? I already said it. I thought I would tank your campaign. Hey, Dre, hmm? I love you more than life itself, but that's bull. You didn't tell your dad because you're afraid of him. No, I'm not. You want to be the perfect son. You're afraid if you let him down, he won't love you. But that's not true. Of course not. But you two do anything humanly possible to avoid having a conversation deeper than uh, past the salt. Well, Dre is not exactly forthcoming. Me? I had to find out you were dating Erica Kane on TV. They do have to bring the mutiny in this to communicate? Son, you say Dre doesn't open up to you, but when you were his age... You weren't exactly forthcoming to me on everything. No, but I didn't run away, did I? You're bringing that up. I had good reasons, Dad. Well, Dre, I wouldn't know those reasons. Because you don't tell them to me. I tried. Hell, I tried to tell you about the hit and run, but... You know, there's always a phone call, a meeting, a press conference. So, yeah, I decided to deal with it myself. <phone rings> See what I mean? All right. Okay, I'm shutting this off. No more interruptions. We'll deal with this together. It's done. No, Dre, it's not done. Now listen, son, I'm proud of the way you stood up and told the truth. But you are facing some serious charges. And we need to do everything we can as a family to mitigate the damage. Okay. We've got a great lawyer in Jackson, Montgomery. But we've got to do more. So I'm going to do what I can to get the charges against you dropped. But there's something else, son. Cassandra. What about her? I know you have feelings for her. But I think for right now, it's best if you just give it some distance. That's your advice. You finally get some interest in my life, and the best you can do is stay away from the one person who gets me? Jill, what a surprise. Mm. I mean, well, not a surprise. I mean, I did invite you. Is this a bad time? I didn't get the day wrong, did I? No, you're right. You're completely right. I forgot. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just that I've had a lot going on, and, sweetheart, I really don't even have any food in the house. No, it's okay. I, I, I heard on the news. How is your daughter? She's going to get through this. Thank you for asking. And listen, really, I, I am so sorry. No, nope, not a problem. Another time? Absolutely. I'll see you at the hospital. Yeah, I'll see you there. 
All right, okay. Let me have it. I know so much for not interfering in your life, right? 